Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So, a quick announcement on our training. We are starting from 6 December 2023. This will be a special batch on Selenium and Java training course. And uh, we are going to talk about a lot of good things in this particular training program. This will be a last boot camp and the training program of uh, 2023. So if you really want to enroll for it, if you really want to learn Selenium, test automation, end-to-end -end framework development, and the DevOps activities with testing and test automation, uh, this course will be an amazing, and then it, you will learn a lot of good things, and then you will get that level of expertise that you can easily crack interviews, and <clears throat> you can work with the real-time projects also, and you can justify your experience and everything with test automation and Selenium. So this is the announcement and the timings, especially in India, if you are in India, 8.30 a.m. IST, Monday to Thursday, four days in a week. The session will be around one hour, 15 minutes, plus sometimes uh, extra 30 minutes for the doubt sessions. Every day we will be having doubts and everything. And then the Monday to Thursday will be there for make sure that for US folks, it will be Sunday to Wednesday, only four days in a week. I personally feel that is more than enough. I don't prefer, you know, taking the sessions only for weekend and then five days gap. No, I don't prefer that. With this way, you cannot learn Selenium properly. Every day you need a practice and then you need at least two to three days for the self-practice revision and everything. You have to do it. So if you are in India, 8.30 a.m. IST, 10 p.m. EST, 7 p.m. PST or 9 p.m. CST, you can uh, take it accordingly. First two sessions will be the demo sessions. So you just need to make the registration form fill the registration form, make the registration payment. And then uh, after that, you can enroll for the training. All the details I have already mentioned here about the payment, about the course content, syllabus, each and every point I have mentioned. If you have any doubts, you can mail me later to my email ID that I've already mentioned on this page. So quickly, I'll go through with the course content as well. As we know that Selenium WebDriver is still like a leading web automation tool in the market and then uh, as compared to if you talk about the Playwright and Cypress also, Selenium is still 60-70% market captured by Selenium and Selenium only. And especially with Selenium Java, that too also we have to consider. No doubt Selenium Python is also doing great and uh, with the C Sharp also is it's slightly better. But Selenium with Java is still the most demanding in US, UK, Canada and India. Most of the people, they are uh, out of 10 calls, 6 to 7 calls, people are asking Selenium with Java. So that's what like Java is very, very important for us to learn to move to the Selenium. Before moving to the Selenium, we have to start with the Java. So that's why this course is actually divided into three major parts. The first part is the Java, where we are going to talk about all the basic concepts of Java, like what do you mean by data types, classes, and then loops, functions, if-else conditions, switch case, arrays, collections, and the proper object-oriented programming, we are going to talk about it. And it's not like only a basic theory or basic definition that we are going to talk. No, in my training, it's always practical example, how exactly we are going to use it in, uh, you know, in the framework, in the use case, in Selenium, where exactly you're using it. Because this is what people will ask you at a time of interview that tell me about the overloading concept. Tell me about the inheritance or encapsulation in your page object model or in your framework that you have used. And there are a lot of good things in Java, like concept of garbage collector, wrapper classes, manipulations, arrays, collections, API, everything that we are going to talk in this particular Java training. So once we free with Java, then only we will move to the Selenium part. Okay, we are going to use Eclipse and IntelliJ both. And in Selenium also 4.x version that we are going to use it because there is no point of learning Selenium 3 version because a lot of changes happened with Selenium from Selenium 3 to 4. So the recent version Selenium 4 is, today I'm recording this video, it's 4.15.0. And there are many changes happened with respect to architecture, with respect to uh, new changes, new methods, <clears throat> few things got deprecated. So we should know about the new architecture and new changes happened in Selenium 4.x version. And uh, Selenium is very, very interesting. It's a very raw tool. It's not like everything is ready-made available in Selenium. It's not like that. You have to design some use cases. You have to design the utilities and everything. So what exactly we do that? We focus majorly on the utility part. <clears throat> How exactly you can create the generic functions, the wrapper functions, wrapper methods on top of Selenium. Because this is how you have to work with the with the real-time projects. In real-time project, it's not about only driver.find element on dot click or dot send keys. 
you have to start learning about uh, the utility creation part. For example, see if I show you here that if you talk about this particular utility, for example, this one, this element util, that is what you have to prepare. You can see that where are number of utility functions on top of Selenium that I have created. And this is exactly from the January batch that I have, uh, last January batch that I have covered or recent batch, every time we are going to, okay, we create this, these utilities with the weight, with the fluent weight, with the web driver weight, alert utilities, drop down utilities. There are various types of utilities that we have to create here. So this is how you have to learn Selenium. Selenium is not about only basic uh, locators and then click and send keys. No, this is not the right way of learning Selenium. We have to focus upon the wrappers, creating the libraries, creating the functions on top of Selenium. So that's why we have to cover the Selenium core features first, like all the core features. You have to get the knowledge. You have to get the confidence about all the Selenium important use cases, important core features of Selenium. For example, that how exactly Selenium works. What do you mean by different navigations? What do you mean by XPath, CSS, different locator strategies? You have to be master in XPath and CSS selectors. When to use what? And you should know that what are the different element identification strategies are available, which locator strategy that we have to use it. Some use cases like tables, web tables, checkboxes, radio button, how to improve and how to write the test cases for that. There are various concepts about Selenium weight, alert, switch windows, actions classes, select classes, and then different browser strategies that we have to use it to open the browser, to close the browser, headless mode, incognito mode, different option classes also available in Selenium. That is also we have to learn along with that. And various types of alerts, windows, there are a lot of things in the web that how exactly Selenium works with the Ajax component and everything. We have to learn those things as well. Okay, so I'm not going to each and every point here. You can just see it here that actions classes, browser profiling, and then I have added some really complex UI scenarios also that how will you handle the Ajax component, complex calendars or date pickers. This is very, very complex example. Web table with the pagination. There is a pagination like page number one, two, three, and all those things. How exactly we are going to handle that? How to write a generic function for that? Infinite page scrolling on, let's see, LinkedIn, Facebook, food delivery, web apps complex shadow DOM, SVG elements, pseudo elements, we have to talk about frames, iframes that we also we have to talk about. What do you mean by page weight related use cases or element weight related use cases are very, very important. So how to apply the proper weight, how to apply the proper weight for the page loading, element weight, fluent weight, web driver weight. There are a lot of misconceptions and wrong information available on internet. But how exactly Selenium works with respect to these use cases? we are going to talk about those things as well. So we are not taking any simple application. We always take some really good examples on different uh, web technologies based application like React based or Angular based or Shadow DOM or a lot of iframes are there. And then typical e-commerce flow that we are going to talk about or any, uh, you know, admin flow or any, uh, you know, healthcare flow we are going to talk about, okay, uh, with the training and with the, with these use cases. And once these things are done, then we have to learn and start learning about the advanced part with, with respect to framework that we have to develop. So it's not like we are jumping to the framework directly. So now we have covered Java and Selenium. After that, we have to start with the test ng. And there are a lot of good things in test ng. It's an amazing tool, a lot of good features, hidden features are there. And we are going to cover that part as well. And then we are going to talk about the complete automation end-to-end -end project and the framework you can showcase this framework and the project in your resume also later. And then um, what do you mean by framework? What is the key skill to learn a framework? How to design a framework? Features of and benefits of using automation framework. What do you mean by data-driven hybrid framework? What are our different design patterns that generally we use with respect to, uh, to design the framework with object-oriented programming concepts? Because it's not like randomly we are writing something. We have to design a lot of components and everything so we are going to talk about the complete POM design, a complete page object model with the hybrid framework that we are going to use. This is just from the recent training that we recently designed this uh, uh, diagram. And then we are going to talk about this. So we are designing very various components and everything here properly. And we never copy paste the code. We always write the code during the session. We learn how to debug the code, how to implement the features, how to implement the component level test cases or the page layer 
how to prepare the different utilities, configurations, runners, how to design the entire end-to-end -end framework and how to explain the same thing at a time of interview also. These things we are going to learn about it. And then once the live project framework is done, now this is a very interesting part that we have added. This is the third part. So first part that I told you Java with Selenium. Second part is about the framework. And the third about is the DevOps and the test ops continuous integration activities we have to do. Because learning is not about only designing the framework. Because framework you have developed in your local, in your Eclipse. But how exactly you are running it on your infrastructure, on your environment, that plays a very important role these days for the SDET point of view. So that's what we are going to talk about all the different DevOps activities, Jenkins, GitHub Actions, Git, Maven, and uh, I'll make you perfect in the Git. What do you mean by branching concept, PR concept, merge, commit, add, push, fetch, different merge conflicts. What do you mean by stashing? What do you mean by cloning, fork and everything we are going to talk about it the way we work in the real-time projects. And then we will create Jenkins CI/CD pipeline, Jenkins Blue Ocean pipelines, normal jobs, how to, how to schedule a pipeline, how to trigger the automation test cases automatically without any manual intervention and everything. And then new thing also we have added GitHub Actions also these days, it's very popular with respect to CI/CD pipeline. We are going to integrate entire Selenium framework with the GitHub Actions and along with Selenium, along with the Jenkins also, we are going to talk about that. Very important chapter we have added Maven lifecycle. It's not about only theory thing, but you should know about what do you mean by compiler plugin? What do you mean by Surefire plugin? What do you mean by assembly plugin? The concept of Nexus and the Fed jar and the normal jar. Because when we work in the real-time projects in a good product-based companies where you have to develop a core framework, you have to distribute the jar, you have to deploy the jar and distribute to others like Nexus or JFrog or something like this. So how to deploy, how to create the servers like Nexus and then using the Maven deployment plugin, you can uh, deploy this fat jar which is generated through the assembly plugin and then we can achieve the complete uh, Maven lifecycle over here and then we can deploy and distribute the plugin to the entire organization at the org level. So this is the <clears throat> way we work in the center of excellence in the testing and test automation. And then very famous technology we are going to use which is a Docker, how to create a Docker container, Docker run the test cases with the help of Selenium Grid. So yes, Selenium Grid is also part of the training, running your test cases on the Dockerized Grid. What do you mean by Docker Composers? We are going to talk about some custom grid using Selenoid and uh, how to create your own browser lab. I don't want to go with the Lambda test or Source Labs or Browser Stack, but how exactly I can create my own browser lab and then with the different versions of browsers, I can use it. So we are going to talk about some custom grids like AeroCube, Selenoid Dockerized Grid and create your own browser lab on the AWS containers and AWS a Docker machine, we can create it and then we can create that. And then we are going to talk about Amazon Web Services, how to set up your account instances of uh, uh, AWS with respect to EC2 service, create a Linux machine over there, and then how to set up the Dockerized grid or Selenoid grid on AWS machine and then how to run it. And then we are just transferring, creating a Docker image and through the pipeline we will deploy and then we will run our test cases on the AWS instance. So this is how it will work. So this is the framework component, entire design that you have done. Move the entire code to the GitHub. And from the Jenkins, you're triggering the jobs and running the test cases on the AWS cloud. And Angira proxy we are going to use that automatically trigger. We are going to create some webhooks and everything, integration with the webhooks with proxy to Jenkins server. So this is like, the infrastructure and DevOps activities that we have to do. We should know about the uh, use cases like in, uh, you know, where exactly in automation use cases I can use these concepts, these technologies and the tools. And it's all about uh, learning the new things when we design the coding part is done. How exactly you're implementing and running the test cases on the containers, environments, triggering jobs, triggering environment, Jenkins server, CACD pipeline, how exactly we can create that and creating our own libraries and everything. So this is the main purpose of the training. It's not about only basic stuff in framework and two days only framework. We are, we cover that. No, it's not like that. We are going to spend around 20 to 25 days only and only for the framework with infrastructure and everything properly. So that's why this training will make you perfect with respect to test automation. You can use the exactly same DevOps activity and test drop activities that will help you a lot in API automation 
tomorrow you are learning playwright also that will also you can easily do that if you really want to use it with the apm later on same exactly same kind of concept or implementation you can do with any other tool with apm or uh, playwright or uh, tomorrow you want to learn it with let's see some other automation tool which is there in the market easily you can do it with these things as well so i'm pretty much sure that will be a great learning for you guys and then yes we have added couple of chapters for the cucumber bdd framework also in this particular training course so just go through it and uh, if you are interested with this boot camp this will be the last boot camp of uh, 2023 going to be very interesting this will take around 15 weeks because the course you can see is very very lengthy a lot of new things and a lot of good things in a very detailed way that we are going to talk and along with that you will be getting the full time access for all the videos if you miss any video i mean session or something you can you will get the daily basis the session recordings you can watch it anytime with the lifetime access you don't need to pay any subscription fee or anything for the lifetime access only one time a training fee and that is more than enough and in any future let's see after 6 months or 2 3 months if i'm adding something new after your training also you it, you will be getting in your box drive so you don't need to uh, worry about that let's you tomorrow selenium 4. Dot, some version is there with new feature you will be getting that feature in your in your uh, drive also in your recordings okay so think about it see the course syllabus and everything and uh, enroll for the training we are starting from the 6th for us folks it will be 5th evening first two sessions will be the demo sessions after that you decide and let me know if you really want to proceed further if you don't want to proceed further then uh, your registration fee that you have paid it will be refunded back to you okay thank you so much and then let me know in case of any issues in the comment section this is the url that i'll share in the description in the first comment of this video and then enroll for the training thank you and thank you so much guys